Welcome back to Learning with the Pastlers. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to solve simultaneous equations. However, I'm going to show you the method of substitution how to solve simultaneous equations. We are going to look at June 2014 CSET Math Paper 2 Question 2D. Yeah, man, are you ready to learn? Learning, learning, la 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 learning, learning, la 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 learning, learning with the past list. Learning, la 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 learning, learning, la 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 learning, learning, yeah. Education is the key, get help, the past your CXC. A, hey, maths and English, we have the luck. Pep to A plus in a dot. Tutoring, we offer that, just check. Learning with the past, please. With the past, please. Here we have 2x plus 3y equal 9. And we also have 3x minus y equal 8. So we have two linear equations to solve. So we're going to solve this using the method of substitution. Right? So I am going to label these equations. So we can say equation one and equation two. Right now, since I am going to use the method of substitution, I am going to use equation two because equation two is easier to solve this problem because we have a negative y, right? And what we are going to do here is to make y the subject of the formula. Are you ready to learn? So we're gonna rewrite equation two. So we can say three x minus y equal eight, right? So now I can write three x minus y. Since we have a Ne negative y here, and I want to get rid of this negative y, we're going to add y to this side. And if we add y to the left side, we have to do the same on the right side. Whatever you do on one side of the equation, you must do it on the other side of equ equation. In other words, when you are taking an item across the equal sign, you must do the opposite of calculation. That is, if you have a positive and you are taking a positive across equal sign, it becomes a negative. You understand? So since we have a negative y, I don't want to get rid of this y on this side, we can add y to it, right? So if I add y on one side, therefore I, I must add y to the other side of the equation. So now we can cancel these two y's. You see that? So now we can write y equal 3x minus 8. You see that? We have a positive 8. So we bring this positive 8 over to the other side of the equation. Therefore, it becomes a negative 8. So now we can say that y is now the subject of the formula. So y equal 3x minus 8. So this is the value of y. Now we can use equation one to solve for x. Why am, I, why am I going to use equation one? If we use the, the same equation that we use to get y, it will not work because when we do the calculation, we are going to get zero and that will not work. Therefore, we will have to use equation one to solve this problem. You understand? So now we can write equation one, which is two X plus three Y equal nine. So remember, we know that for now, Y equal three X minus eight. So anywhere you see Y, you should put the value of Y, which is three X minus eight. So now I can write 2x plus 3, and in bracket we have the value of y, which is x, which is 3x minus 8, and this should equal to 9. Write back 2x plus 
So we can say three times three X, this give us nine X. We have three times negative eight, this will give us negative 24 equal nine, right? So now we're going to group like terms. So two X plus nine is 11 X minus 24, and this should equal to nine. Now, we want to make X the subject of the formula. So we can write 11 X equal nine. Since we have a negative 24 and we are gonna take it across equal sign, it's gonna to change to positive 24. You see that? So now we can stay 11 X equal nine plus 24, this give us 33. No, we are going to divide both sides by 11. And this should give us three. Therefore, X equal three. You see that? Know that we find the value of X. We are going to plug in the value of X into any one of the above equation. We can use equation one or equation two, right? But I am going to use equation two. It doesn't matter which one of the equation you use above. You're gonna get the same answer. So now we're gonna use three X minus Y equal eight, right? And this is equation two. The shortening for equation two is EQ2, right? So we know the value of X. So anywhere you see X, you should put three there. So we can write three and in bracket we have three, right? Because we know that X is three minus Y equal eight, right? So now we're gonna multiply three times three. This would give us nine minus y equal eight, you see that? So we can write negative y equal eight. And since we have a positive nine and we are going to take this positive nine across equal sign, it becomes a negative nine. So we are going to do the opposite of calculation. So we have a negative nine, right? So we're going to write back negative y equal eight minus nine would give us negative one. So now since we have negative y, this represents one, right? So we have a negative, so we can divide both sides by negative one. And when we cancel out these, we should get one. Therefore, we can say that y equal one. Now I can tell you that when x equal three, y equal one. Therefore, this is our answer. Yeah, man, so this is how we solve problem like this using the, using the method of substitution.